My name is Greg Dotson, and I am currently the Vice President for Energy Policy at the Center for American Progress. I've been in Washington, D.C. for 20 years, uh, working on energy and environmental policy issues. When you think about the Clean Air Act, we've had comprehensive programs to reduce air pollution from cars and trucks, the entire mobile sector, and large stationary sources like power plants and refineries. We're now going through the process of applying that law to climate change, which is something that is relatively new. The next president will have to determine how to increase ambition and reduce pollution even further by 2030. Just a few years ago, I went and climbed the Grand Teton and was stunned, you know, just how, how warm it was and how disconnected that felt from my historic frame of reference. These are really serious impacts, and if we can play a role in avoiding them or making them less severe going forward, that's something we have to do. We need people thinking about this in solid analytical ways and taking action in our city councils, in our state legislatures, in our Congress, in our courts. And I think that's a really critical role for the next generation of lawyers. There's going to be tremendous opportunities to, to work in this field. And more importantly, there's going to be tremendous responsibility to work in this field. Over the last 20 years, we've seen tremendous progress as far as offering solutions to climate change. We see a tremendous growth of, of wind energy generation. We see an even more dramatic rate of growth for solar energy deployment. We see electric vehicles mass manufactured and plans to manufacture them you know, more than anyone would have even guessed. And, and that's really a tremendous you know, uh, reason to be optimistic. You know, on the other hand, 20 years ago, you probably didn't know anyone that had a solar panel on their roof. You'd probably never seen an electric vehicle on the road. And today, it's commonplace, and it's becoming even more so. It's not uncommon to know people that work in these fields. It's not uncommon to have neighbors that, that have solar panels on their roof and to see electric vehicles driving down the road. And that offers, to me, a tremendous, it's a symbol of hope that we have the tools we need if we can just get the policies in place to make sure that they're adopted at the rate they need to be adopted. One thing that's great about having gone to the University of Oregon School of Law, you know, it, are the, the people I went to school with are now also engaged in making a difference in the environment. So when I had the opportunity to return to the University of Oregon School of Law, I couldn't say no. The opportunity to go and work with, with so many brilliant people on, uh, on solutions to the nation's environmental and energy challenges just is an incredible opportunity. I'm really looking forward to it.